How's it going fellas and welcome to the channel where I kick back, relax and talk video games and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the advanced shot stick on defense in NBA 2K18. So over the next few minutes I'm going to be teaching you things other than shooting and dribble moves that you can do with the shot stick on defense in NBA 2K18. Let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is there's no more automatic shot contest in NBA 2K18 like there was in 2K17. So there's no way that you can just hold L2 and just get a shot contest from it. It, it still does the animation, but it always seems to go in. So what you want to do is hold the right dual shock towards the player shooting the ball, and that gives you a shot contest. It gives you a manual shot contest, which overpowers the automatic shot contest like crazy. It's so much more powerful than doing the automatic shot contest or even just standing in front of a guy and not playing defense. Yeah, you're in his grill, but if you don't do a shot contest, there's really no point you being there. So just give it a try against the CPU guys, because trust me, there's so many times where I've just thrown up manual shot contest even though I'm late, he's got the shot up, but I still seem to put enough pressure on him to make him miss the shot, even on Hall of Fame. There's a hope for you guys, because there is a chance of you to make him miss the shot when you're not even playing good defense against the CPU. This does not work on my park in any way, shape, or form. You've got to be in people's faces on my park using the manual shot stick when they go up for shots. If you don't do that, you're going to be exploited. So the next thing I want to talk about is a comment that somebody left in one of my other videos is using the shot stick to actually stop passing lanes which is a great idea I didn't even think of that because you put your hands up and if you can get it in the general vicinity of where the guy is passing the ball sometimes the animation if you stand close enough and put your hands up he will just stop the pass he will get his hands up straight away and stop the pass and even when you're running away from the ball throw them up throw your hands up the only thing that i do say guys if you do throw your hands up when you're running towards the ball to try and get that late steal you will be committed and once you're committed and the steal doesn't pull off you'll get exploited so the one thing that you have to practice here is only committing to the ones that you know or a very high chance of getting if you know that you're not going to get them and you're just throwing up a Hail Mary hands to try and steal the ball just you're better off just playing good defense but this tip excels under the basket when people get the rebound and are trying to pass it out to the three-point line that's where this tip excels because you're right in the person's face they don't have much chance to pass the ball especially if you're a big man rim protector lockdown defender those sorts of archetypes you're gonna have a high chance of stealing the ball because you're right in their face and it doesn't let them get the animation off when you're holding the hands up because you don't actually go through the player like you do in other instances when people have their hands up you actually become some sort of a solid object where the ball can't just go through I'm not saying that this happens all the time, but you've got a way higher chance putting your hands up, using the shot stick to put your hands up than just standing there, hoping that the ball will hit you because 99% of the times, it ain't going to hit you unless you have your hands up. So the next few things I want to talk about is more to the my career aspect. It, it's completely different to play the CPU compared to human-based players. But when you play against the CPU, when you're on ball defense, you can hold L2, get into that crab walk, and then use the shot stick and point towards him to put your hand on him. It, it restricts him a hell of a lot in my career and probably even again in my gm in cpu based game modes this works a treat to contain the point guard the point guard doesn't really run around you as much when you have your hand up it goes the same when you're off ball as well put your hand up use the shot stick when you're off ball to get your hand up and restrict the guy from running that way he can't run through you if you've got that hand up it works so much off the ball and you force players to run where you want to run and it's easy steals or easy shot contests every day of the week trust me guys it's really that simple against the cpu the cpu isn't that hard if you're struggling against the hall of fame difficulty that there's just little things that can help you so much in my career and that's one of them 
Another thing that works well in my career, this might work in my puck, I'm not too sure, I haven't tested it out that much, I've been playing too much of my career, trying to grind my player, and playing other games as well, playing a lot of Fortnite, but that's, that's a story for another day. The thing I want to talk about is trailing players using the shot stick. If, say, someone's in front of you, like you've got your shooting guard and you've gotten beaten by your opponent and he's running to the corner and you're trailing him, hold the shot stick, the right analog stick, towards the player running away while holding turbo and you'll sort of grab him and get this weird animation where you'll trail with him. Even though I'm a slower, pure sharpshooter, I keep up with the fastest players on the field because I get some weird animation where I slide next to him. As I said, I haven't tried this in my park. It might work. I'm not too sure, but I haven't tested it out. But against the CPU in my career, it works a treat, guys. If you get beaten off defense, you can just hold the right DualShock stick and turbo towards the player, and they don't run faster than you. For some reason, you just keep up with them. Even though I'm a way slower player than 99% of players on the court. One last quick thing before I end it is just use the shot stick if you're a rim protector around the rim against smaller guys. There's no reason to jump and get exploited with just jumping in the air for no reason. Just use the shot stick. If you have a big man up against you, you've got to determine whether to jump or whether to use the shot stick and it's different every single time. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. If you do like these NBA 2K18 tutorials, leave in the comments below anything that you're struggling with when it comes to NBA 2K18. Leave it in the comments below. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. If you do like these videos, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch us later.